Um, now I've put the I've put the front on the car. Just going to rough it on because I have this little beauty that is the power steering pump out of an Astra, and I want to put it between the rad support. I want to fit it just in there. Get rid of that horn. I'm going to see how well it's going to fit. And um, we'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that that's exactly where I'm going to put this power steering pump. Retrofitted in there at the moment. So all I need to know are my clearances for my radiator. Which is on this side anyway. So, I pretty well guarantee I'm not going to need to drill any holes or do any welding. I can use original bolt holes and make my own bracket for that. All I need is my air conditioning condenser and if need be, um, maybe one hole here for the bracket. So. I'm going to have to wait until I get those other parts to do that and um, when they come in I'll start retrofitting it and I'll order the brake lines, uh, the power steering lines. They'll come out probably on the inside of the rail so they can squeeze through there on the inside of the rail straight across to the power steering. Let's see how we go. Okay, I've just got this mocked up, this power steering pump. Fits beautifully in there. From the front, you will see it remind you. You will be able to see it through there, but if I paint that all satin black, um, you're not going to notice it. Especially once your radiator's in, your bar's on. Hangs out that far over the radiator, so that's bugger all. I can actually go in a little bit more if I wanted to. And um, I've got all this solid area here to weld brackets on. So I reckon that's where it's going to go. Plus, I've only got to go from there to there with the power steering lines, which I can just run straight down along the chassis. What do you reckon, guys? Leave your comments below. Tell me what you reckon. With the rod shot power steering. It's a good old rod shop down in Castle Wayne. We're going to use that power steering for that. Now, a lot of the time people will put it on the inner guard there or whatever, but I want a clean engine bay, so I'm putting mine in the front of the rad support right near that uh, headlight now I've mocked it up a couple times there is plenty of room between the radiator the headlight the nose cone and the grill and if it's painted black, nobody will even see that it's in there. Plus, it's going to be a nice short run to uh, wire up. So, I'm starting with a bit of flat steel. I'm just going to make a basket for it. Pretty much similar to the one that it came out with in the Astra. But I didn't get it out of the car, unfortunately. I could have just modified it. So, I'll just bend this up and uh, start welding. See how we go. So I've bent it up, I just bent three pieces, um, sat it on there, tacked it together, welded it together and to fit it to the rad support I've just used that bit of angle, actually I've flared the ends around so it looks a bit neater, a couple of holes in it, much prefer to just have a couple of drill holes in that rad support rather than weld something to it so let's put it on there and see what it looks like. Righty a so that I'm just holding it there for clamp for the moment. You can see that 
got plenty of clearance all the way around. It's only going to be bolted in there. So let's stick this power steering in there. So there we go, guys. That is in. That is where it will sit. These wires obviously will run around the back, whatever. But there's plenty of room. That's where the you, that's all you'll be able to see is the top of that bottle. I'll put that rad. I'll put the nose cone on, and you guys can see just how much clearance I've got in there. And that is solid. I haven't even got any bolts in there yet. That's solid. Right, eh? So that's the rad support on. Just a couple of only hand tight. That's the power steering pump right there. So as you can see, I've actually wound the wires down the back. They're going to be different anyway. I've got to splice them all open and stuff like that. Now I'll just chuck the nose cane on and show you how much room we've got. Okay, rad support on. Look at that. There is just ample room down there. Ample. That painted black with the grill on that. There is plenty of room. Look at that. Nowhere near the grill. So I reckon that's the spot for it to go. And all you're really going to see once that's all painted out and done. You can get your power steering cap there, no worries. One job done. I reckon I'll uh, bolt that in there now. I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Okay, guys, pretty much knocked out this rad support. Um, I've set up the headlights. I've done all that sort of stuff. Um, I've got the radiator sitting in there. I've welded up those brackets. You've seen all that. The power steering sitting in there. Pretty much everything that I've done is how it's going to stay. So we'll just run around what I've actually done. Now I've gone with the LED headlights. And there's... I, I did video doing it, but... If you uh, you guys jump on Shanky's garage, you'll you'll see him doing them as well. So I'll put a link in there to Shanky's. I've got the uh, air conditioning condenser sitting in there. I haven't actually made the bracket for that. I don't think I'll bother doing a video, but it sits in there nicely. It's got plenty of room. The power steering pump sits there beautifully. The radiator, which is a WB radiator, um, which. Any of you holding guys know they're pretty, they're not that hard to install on a HJ rad support. And I've made that shroud there for the back of the headlights just to neaten up the front of the engine bay a bit. Um, that there will probably end up being part of the airbox as well for the 304 fuel injected motor. So now all I've got to do is start looking at. That inner guard's dropped down. It's not bolted on, guys. I've only got that sitting there for the video. But if you guys keep watching, I'll go get those power steering lines made um, so that I can hide them as much as I can to get in there. I'm not going to bolt them up. I'm only going to get them made, so I'm not going to show that video yet until we go to the full assembly of the, the vehicle. Um... This is the Vintage Air bulkhead, which will come out down this side. Hoses will be run through the unit, uh, through the guards, so they're all hidden. So next stage is the Vintage Air. I'll get that all set up inside here, and um, once once that Vintage Air is done, guys, then. I'll then I'm definitely into the bodywork on this car, which is quite an exciting time because the rats, uh, the firewall will be all done, welded up. I know exactly what's going on there. I know where the bulkhead's going for the heater hoses. Um, the whole engine bay will be finished, painted, and I will not have to touch it again, which is um, what I'm looking for. All I need to do is pull the panels off and... Uh, start straightening which i'm not that good at to tell you 
if you check this one here out it's still got a little bit of a warp in it I'll work it out slowly but surely guys slowly but surely that's all you can do so I hope you enjoyed this part of the video I think the cars looking really good it's uh, it's getting closer and closer every day so I'm enjoying this build nothing's frustrating me I've got to do things two and three times which when I was younger, that would have frustrated me. I'd be throwing tools around the shed. But for some reason, this car is not frustrating me at all. It's costing me a lot of money. Doesn't bother me. It's going to be a one-off. It's going to be my car. And um, I'm going to enjoy it. So like and subscribe. And um, keep watching. Let's uh, knock this car out. Hopefully get it finished. Oh, I'd like to say in a couple of months. But next year. Cheers for watching.